Good day everyone, this is John Bott, Hobmas Prime Reviews. As always, I am, from the bottom of my heart, wishing you all the very best. Please, as always, I'd love it if you'd like, share and subscribe. Please feel free to join the Facebook group, Hobmas Prime Reviews. Me, myself and I would love you on there. Uh, Paul and Rohan will kindly add you if I don't see the request join. But I'm always on there every day, so I most likely will see it. But um, also, please click that notification bell for all latest content. So here we are. I've I caved in. This is my core class review of Predacon Vertebrake. Yes. Very, very good figure. But I'm going to do it back to front, you see, because I've already got these, the buddies of the Wave, of the wave 1. I'm going to bring them a bit closer and get them to stand up. This is it. To get them to stand, it's like they've all had a bit too much sauce. That's quite. So, a bit of extra light on them for you, because I'm... Oi! I'm recording in my studio and my lights have decided to pack in, so I'm having to improvise. So, yeah. So here you go. You've got Rat Trap, which I thought was awesome, apart from the messed up not I do wish they'd locked his arms so it moved better but other than that awesome figure these are the size of core class Optimus Optimus Prime and then you've got Vertebrae who looks a bit like the back got goggles on looks pretty cool awesome figure I have to say but yep there's the comparisons so let's get them out of the way so let's get down and dirty so I'm gonna get a bit of extra light in here so you can see Look at the red of the eyes. There's a silver of the paint. You can see the Predacon symbol. It is a fantastic figure. I'm not going to lie. The colour is like a skin green. Like a military kind of green. The head mixed with like a dark grey. It's such an amazing figure. It looks flimsy, but it's really not. It's a really good figure. And it's just a beautiful little figure. As I say, the core class of Re Hasbro have entered into the legend scale really fantastically with these I have to say well done Hasbro top marks so as you can see he comes or she I don't know I'm trying to work out if it's a male or female Predacon we don't discriminate but um, he's got a weapon which is his tail as you can see with a Whip crack away, whip crack away. And as you said, you can see the detail on the stomach, on the chest plate. It's a nice rough texture. Let's have a look at his weapon, or their weapon, Vertebrate's weapon. As you can see, it flecks from a green to a dark grey. Fantastic what they've done. So, we'll go for articulation, because we can, and it makes sense. The head can go forwards and back. Can turn that much and turn that much. Arm goes out to there, goes down, all the way up, back down, all the way up, back down and out. And it has a wiggly waggly ball joint at the elbow. Move the legs. Can do the full Van Damme. And has no waist rotation, which is not an issue. Very stiff, it's a very stiff knee. Foot's on a ball rocker. And the second half, same as the first. This one has the same. So, let's get down to transformation. Why not? So, here you go. You're going to fold this back. You're going to pull this forward. You're going to, it's so quick. You're going to flip the head down. You're going to pull that back. But before you do that, John, don't be a twit. You pull this all the way back, you see it clicks into there, just like that. And that's a little tab that goes into this hole on the back of the ear. See the tabs there? Boof, bish bash. Practically done. Now, put the legs out of the way for the minute. Then mine, oh, it's a bit, a bit stiff, a bit stiff. The arms kept coming off early when I was practicing to transform it. So you'll see here, you've got these little rebates. I'll show you. See the rebate on 
there goes into there. So it's got to click and collect. Here we go. Get it in there. Oh, B E A, beautiful. The hands basically go underneath like that. That goes there. Pull this arm down. And then, see there's like a, ho a hole in the butak. In the butaka. See in there? That's it. You're just going to go like this. Shove that in there. And there you go. Awesome. I would say it's like a little Velociraptor, but it's not. It's not a Velociraptor because Dinobots are Velociraptor. I'd say it's more... Like when there was like, I think they were called Gallaminius or something, like the little things that used to chase after on Jurassic Park. But it's a spot on little figure, I have to say. In dino mode, the head goes up, the head goes down. I'm trying to work out if it does have mouth that opens a bit or not. Mine just bends because it looks like it has because it's got a hinge. But I think mine is stuck, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm not bothered. It does enough for what it does for such a little dude up and down tail no articulation legs it can do the slidey splits excuse my light there the slidey splits like many sliding dinosaurs do we there you go see <laughs> but yeah it is an awesome figure I have to say, I got this from Comic and Cocktails, who I got most of my Wave 1, well, all my Wave 1 from, apart from, I think it was Kapow that I got the Core Class Optimus from. But, uh, yeah, mint figure, fantastic figure, and I'm so happy with the Kingdom range. I'm just waiting, hopefully, the next week, this coming week, which is my birthday week, Megatron. Oh yes, Megatron. Yes. So fail you not. Dinosaur, T-Rex. Megs himself, so I'll have the rival for my old Primal and I'll be so happy. Hopefully uh, Comic Cocktails will be sending out my uh, invoice and I'll get myself that for another birthday present. So, this is John Bot Homer's Prime Review saying thank you very much for watching. Take care out there in these troubling times and always be good to each other. And don't worry, it's all good collecting. If you want to collect, you do it. Let's keep it going. It's such a fantastic thing in these awful times. and It's a nice, healthy distraction. And it's bloody amazing. And it's fun. Especially with the technologies they come up with and everything. They're getting better and better every time they release something. Yep, I've heard some people say some of the, you know, people have had issues with like Cheat or I agree with slight issues on Black Arachnia because she's flimsy as anything. But um, they're still good figures, still good figures. I never managed to get Black Arachnia first time round. This is Vertebrake's a new character. You know what I mean? Hopefully it'll, she'll, they will show themselves in the Kingdom series, which I'm getting the feeling they will. It's going to be good. So hopefully my next review should be as i say my uh kingdom megs so please as i say take care this is thomas prime reviews john bot saying to all toy lovers are one so that's it guys see you next time thanks for watching all the best skewity wending <laughs>